evening. Thank you for joining us. First on News 2 at 6 o'clock, we are talking to the organizer of an event at the River Center where fight sent two people to the hospital. At the event on Friday, BRPD says officers responded to help deal with fights and fan out crowds. BRPD says its officers got the call just after midnight and left after 2 a.m. Now, no arrests have been made. This investigation is still underway. News 2's Sarah Gray Barr here with more on the event and the fallout. Yeah, Michael, I talked with the organizer, Dijon Cage. He told me this is the first time there's been an issue with fights. He says he hired more security than required by the River Center and says there were preventative measures in place. He told me it's sad. The fights stole the event's focus, which is supporting the local economy. Several years now, Dijon Cage put together an event he calls an all-black affair. He told News 2 it's a chance for people to come together to have a good time and also help celebrate his business, DC Eats. This is the event's fifth year, selling 3,200 tickets at the River Center. Unlike last year, he says there were some fights that broke out. Cage said he had hired security both from the River Center and off-duty BRPD officers. He says $200,000 went into this event. In a statement to WBRZ, he said in part, no one spends a fifth of a million million dollars on an event and expects it to turn out this way. Cage also told us we take full accountability. Hindsight is 2020. We did everything with security and police. Cage attributed the fights to excessive alcohol consumption, saying if this event happens next year, there will be stricter rules in place and no BYOB. Cage told me it's too early to decide whether this event will happen again next year. We have his full statement on our website at WBRZ.com. Sylvia, Sarah.